It turns out the biggest security breach in history was as easy as a hacker sitting outside of Marshalls near St. Paul, Minnesota and pointing a telescope-shaped antenna toward the store. Think all your information is secure? Think again. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 data breaches and company hacks. For this list, we're only taking a look at hacks or data breaches that have been caused by a hacker group or organization. This means we're excluding the efforts of WikiLeaks and Edward Snowden, as they are classified as whistleblowers. Nosy Smurf is the, the hot miking tool. So for example, if it's in your pocket, they can turn the microphone on and listen to everything that's going on around you. But if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out our list of the top 10 whistleblowers. They want to own your phone instead of you. Number 10, the TJX Companies, Inc. Largest data breach in U.S. history is getting even larger tonight. The Wall Street Journal report says as many as 200 million customer records were stolen from Framingham-based TJX, which is the parent company of TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It seems like the thing to do if you plan on taking down a chain of well-known stores is to take out the parent company. At least in this case it was. Originating at the end of 2006, the computer systems intrusion of the American apparel and home goods company TJX was only discovered and announced by anti-fraud agents the following year. By then, the culprit had compromised over 45 million credit and debit card numbers, as well as the personal information of 450,000 TJX customers. With popular stores such as Marshalls and Home Goods under its umbrella, TJX ended up suffering a major loss of about $256 million due to the compromise. In the end, 11 men were charged for the crime, including alleged mastermind Albert Gonzalez. Now these 11 individuals uh, and a man named Albert Gonzalez of Miami is highlighted here as having masterminded what they call war driving. Number 9. Heartland Payment Systems, Inc. 60% of small businesses who suffer a data breach go out of business within six months. The question is, are you Heartland secure? When it's your job to hold financial information, it's not surprising to find yourself targeted by malicious individuals or groups. A warning tonight, your credit or debit card information might have been compromised. Hackers managed to breach a system that handles payments for 250,000 stores all across the country. In 2008, spyware was installed onto the systems of the Fortune 500 company known as Heartland Payment in order to gather data from businesses. The security breach, which was announced in early 2009, exposed users' financial information to hacker Albert Gonzalez, who was arrested and sentenced to two decades in prison in 2010. Albert Gonzalez, who has been called the biggest cyber hacker in U.S. history, was sentenced to 20 years in jail after he stole tens of millions of credit card numbers. This was the longest sentence given for a cyber crime in history to that point. While the resulting financial loss for Heartland was less than our previous entry, at $110 million, the compromised systems included the exposure of some 130 million card numbers. The company has posted a letter of regret over the breach that happened late last year and what it's doing now. Number 8. Celebgate the fappening. More than 100 of Hollywood's leading ladies' accounts allegedly accessed, photos stolen, and leaked onto underground message boards all over the internet Sunday night. Let's face it, our society is obsessed with celebrities. So whenever anything is leaked about their personal lives, it's gonna spread like wildfire. I am your host, former iCloud user Jimmy Fallon, and <laughs> from now on even my dog's wearing pants. I don't care what happens, yeah. When a hacker used phishing and brute force guessing against Apple's iCloud to access many celebrities' private photos and leaked them to the public in 2014, the internet went crazy. Known as the fappening because of the photo's graphic content, many celebrities such as Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and Kaylee Cuoco were affected. While the actual leaking of nudes is not an uncommon event, the internet, as evidenced by the celebrity photo hack, turned it into a modern hacking phenomenon. Every person on the planet has the right to take nude photos of themselves. Every single person. They also have the right to share it or not share it with the world. These hackers stole these women's property and took that choice away from them. It's part of a cycle of sexualized emotional violence that's gotta stop. Thanks a lot, internet. Meanwhile, several people remain under investigation in relation to the case. Now, the things you do on your phone are everywhere you want them. Automatically. iCloud. Number 7. 
Living Social. Consumer alert tonight involving 50 million customers who shop online. The discount website Living Social is now telling its users to change their passwords. They're also apologizing after that site was hacked. Those who subscribe to our next entry for their daily deals may have gotten more than they bargained for in 2013. In April of that year, a professional hacker group was able to force their way into Living Social's encrypted systems and obtain information on over 50 million customers. Not limited to email addresses, the database hack saw hackers sneak away with information like names, passwords, and birth dates. Though the company was quick to reassure registered users that no credit card info was compromised. The site claims credit card information is safe, but the hackers got names, emails, birthdays, and encrypted passwords. Almost all of the company's users were affected, except for some in particular Asian countries, as their info was stored on separate systems. As for Living Social, they say they are still investigating who's behind the hacking. Number six. Epsilon. Someone got into the systems at Epsilon. Right. And it could be that they were searching for vulnerable systems. And they found a vulnerable system, they dove in, they didn't even realize what they found until they found it. This email marketer is one of the biggest sources of communication between modern corporations. Unfortunately, in 2011, databases containing information on about 50 of their clients, including J.P. Morgan Chase and Best Buy, had been mysteriously stolen by cyber criminals. This caught everybody's attention because there were so many companies. Huge um, companies. And, and some of them very local to Columbus. While the culprits were only able to obtain individuals' email addresses and the exact number of those affected is unknown, estimates put the number as high as 250 million. We're living in the information age and one of the biggest and most important currencies in the information age is information. Number five, Adobe Systems. The software company announced a major security breach that could have far-reaching consequences. Hackers were able to access Adobe source code and customer information. Back in October 2013, this massive computer software company was the victim of a sophisticated security attack across Adobe's expansive catalog. This destructive intrusion was able to steal monumental amounts of personal information from at least 38 million users, including credit card info, regardless of which Adobe platform was used. Hackers were also able to obtain the source code of Adobe products in what has been called one of the worst breaches in American history. Adobe later tried to rectify the situation by offering victims one year of free credit monitoring. Number four, PlayStation Network. It's where computer gamers go to play against each other and compare tactics. Yet for the last six days, users of Sony's PlayStation Network have been greeted instead by error messages. Our next entry is why you should never attack the gaming world. Breached by an unnamed hacking group in April 2011, the Sony entertainment service known as the PlayStation Network saw the compromise of the personal information of 77 million users, including their credit card numbers and email addresses. This massive breach caused Sony to shut down the service, resulting in an outage that lasted 23 days. The Japanese conglomerate later came under fire for not reporting possible theft until a week following the attack. In order to save their consumer base, Sony offered free games and monthly subscriptions to affected gamers, with some estimates putting overall damages to the company as high as $2 billion. To our third-party publishing partners, you guys have been with us for over 15 years making tremendous games, and I know the network outage was costly to you. Number three, Target Corporation. Now to the growing problems for customers who had their credit card information stolen while shopping at Target. Now comes word hackers got their PIN numbers too, and at least one customer is now pleading with his bank for help. Retail data breaches seem to be a trend in the 21st century. If you happen to have had your information on file with the retail giant known as Target in 2013, you are probably one of the 110 million customers affected by one of the largest leaks in history. Targeted by numerous unknown hackers, many customers of the corporation saw their identification and financial information extracted and released on the web. Target needs to make sure that however they were able to obtain this data from their systems, from their servers, cannot happen again. The massive backlash that followed the data breach resulted in numerous high-ranking officials stepping down as well as a proposed $19 million settlement with MasterCard. Once that person submits proof like receipts or statements, he or she can receive a maximum of $10,000 in damages. Number two, 
Ashley Madison. Most of us can recover from a one night stand with the wrong woman. <laughs> but not when it's every night for the rest of our lives. When you're using a site that functions as a service to help you conduct extramarital affairs, you are already skating close to the line as it is. Ashley Madison, uh, which is a, a dating service for married people looking to have an affair. <laughs> I, a website that I definitely only heard about for the first time this morning. In the most recent hack on our list, a hacker group known as the Impact Team decided enough was enough and accessed Ashley Madison's user database, copying about 25 gigabytes of their details. The hackers are threatening to release customer records, including secret sexual fantasies, not to mention real names and addresses. After requests for the site's shutdown were ignored, the group released the data in two individual dumps, which resulted in a large amount of public shaming and unconfirmed suicide incidents. He talked about his depression. Um, he talked about um, having his name on there, and he said he was just very, very sorry. Before we leak our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. New reports say attackers infiltrated a workstation used by a Google engineer, then gained access to computer code for the software that authenticates users of Google's email, calendar, and other online programs. A flaw in security software that may have put your personal information, such as credit card numbers and passwords, at risk. It's called the Heartbleed bug. Basically, the hackers got into the network and were able to use Home Depot's own system to put malware on each of the registers. So basically, when you went into Home Depot, swiped your card, they were stealing the card almost as, as quickly as Home Depot was getting it. There was an important message from Facebook's White Hat program last week. It was actually a data breach in disguise. Data about you uploaded by person X could be inadvertently downloaded by person Y. Number one, Sony Pictures Entertainment. Suffered significant damage. There were threats against its employees. Uh, I am sympathetic to the concerns uh, that uh, they faced. Having said all that, yes, I think they made a mistake. If you release something controversial that's likely to anger a large group of people, don't be shocked if they decide to retaliate. The hacking scandal that has embarrassed movie giant Sony, now even messier after private emails about the A-list of the A-list were leaked. In supposed opposition to the release of the comedy film The Interview, a hacker group known as the Guardians of Peace found a way to access a large amount of confidential information from Sony Pictures. Not standing down, the company released the film, which revolved around a plot to kill North Korea's Kim Jong-un. Do you promise you'll do this? I promise if you promise, you'll never leave. If you promise, then I'll promise. Well, then same time. One, two, three. Promise. promise. Sticking by their threat, the Guardians of Peace revealed much of the inner workings of the company by way of personal emails, financial info, and future film scripts. While initially North Korea was suspected of sponsoring the hack, many officials still have doubts, with the country having denied any involvement in the cyber attack. Whoever it is, they don't seem to be interested in money. They don't seem to be trying to make a political point because they haven't said anything about why they're doing this. They really just want to make life difficult for people who work for Sony Pictures, which is really puzzling, kind of only makes sense if it's North Korea. Do you agree with our list? What went wrong and why can't hackers be stopped? What do you think was the most destructive hack? For more breach-worthy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You can do it! Thank <music> you.